Hi, welcome back, Oddie's Airsoft, and today we are doing a spotlight slash preview. This is a quickie. Um, what we're looking at is the APS Carib, which is a Glock pistol conversion kit. This review has been brought to you in part by Main Irish Airsoft. Very much a Marmite product. You either love it or you're going to hate it. A while back we did another Glock conversion kit. This was the Hera Arms. The video playing next to me, if you click on it, you, it will take you to the um, actual review. But don't forget to come back. This is a Marmite product and you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. Me, I don't you know what, I'm in the middle of the road. Um, they are kind of dinky and they do sort of make you look a little bit different to what's out there and really with Airsoft that's what we're all trying to achieve, a little bit of difference between the next Airsofter. So we have a little bit of video of how to put this together and um, we'll see how you get on with that. So I'll bring in the video now. What we have here is the APS Carib. This is a pistol conversion kit. So if you're playing a lot of CQB, you want something that's gonna have a little bit more hardcore edge to it, and you prefer using a conversion kit on your pistol. Um, hey, look, I don't think it actually gets better than this. We had a look at the Hero Arms one before, and the problem with the Hero Arms was uh, very well made. Um, again, a Marmite product, you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it, but uh, the problem with the Hero Arm ones uh, was that we couldn't use an 18C Glock in it. And to me, the whole point of using a conversion kit with any Glock is that you can actually go full auto. This model will take it. Now, what it comes with, and before I go into what it comes with, let me just explain. This is polycarbonate. This is one of those sort of reinforced nylon jobbies. Um, very, very light. 0 0.4 kg, I believe. It'll take a number of different style Glocks because we have these little conversion uh, nubs here. And once you find out which one you want to use or which one fits your gun, the little bar is removable and can be slotted in either of them and you get these little grubber screws and Allen key to fit it. Real, real simple. So this one is the one that fits my KWA 18C. Uh, but they say in the blurb that this thing can be put together with your Glock in less than 30 seconds. I actually don't have any doubts. Once you know what you're doing, you'll fly through it. It is quite simple. Um, it's, uh, it comes with a QD sling point. I'll get into more of the extras uh, when it's put together, but let's put it together and show you how it goes. So I take the 18C, and this just slots on top like so. This then slits, sits into the kit itself. The door comes over and, you, and that's her in. This little piece then comes down and it's a case of just wiggling it all on until it's there. You then take one of these screws. These are real handy because they're like a key. They slot in and there's only one way they can slot in. And once they're in, you twist them to lock them in real dinky so that's the front that's the back piece done now the front slots on and again very very simple and as you can see i wouldn't be doing it in anything like 30 seconds but hey once that's on you take your other pin and again it can only be put in because it's like key and then that's twisted and that's locked in and that's her done real real simple to pull back the catch, that's her ready to go, in with the mag. It also comes with this sort of, this, uh, look, I don't know whether I'd use this now myself, but this uh, hand grip sort of slots on there and can be used, I would probably be put in some sort of tack light or torch, um, but that's just me. Uh, stock is retractable, so you've got a number of different positions for your cheek rest. And um, yeah, all in all, I actually think that's quite nice. It's, it's very different. comes with the typical rail system to put any of your little mounts, lasers, scopes, etc. And here's another dinky thing. This flash hider, uh, I have to say it looks quite awesome, can be taken off and a new. you can put on pretty much any 
sort of silencer or any other sort of muzzle that you would like to put on it to uh, change the look of it. So there you go, real, real simple. Um, I've only put it together once before this actual video was made, so I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little bit slow at it. I reckon once you know what you're doing, you would indeed get it done below the 30 seconds. So that's the APS Karib from APS, uh, Accuracy Pneumatics Shooting. And uh, yeah, it look again, Marmite stuff. You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. I have to say, I think it looks pretty cool. And it certainly funks up your 18C if that's the way you want to go. So, that's the APS Karib, which is the Glock conversion kit. Uh, not going to be for everyone's taste, I agree. But if you want to do something different and be a little bit different, and let's face it, that's what really airsoft is about. I'd certainly have a look at this. Thanks for watching. This has been Oddies Airsoft, and we'll talk real soon. See you later.